Chris, first up this <laughs> afternoon in Richmond. Hello, Chris. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, I, agree with, uh, I agree with everything you said. The, the, this goes back a very long way, right? David Cameron, bunch of migrants, Theresa May, citizens of the world. You know, this, this started before Brexit and that disgusting breaking point poster. But I agree with you that some of the politicians today, and I'm going to name check the Paul Bristow, putting out a video on Twitter of where asylum seekers are saying that is painting a target on their back. And it is a complete and utter disgrace, Ben. So you think that part, a lot of the blame lies with those that are pointing and illustrating where these hotels are, Chris? Of course, it's painting a target on their back. Those, those MPs are deeply irresponsible. I've written to their party chairman uh, just before we spoke that they have got to stop that. I mean, I, I agree with you. I think that is outrageous behaviour. But it wouldn't be painting a target on anyone's back if the hatred and the anger hadn't been whipped up in the first place, would it? Well, I agree. They are literally adding petrol onto the fumes. Mm. The problem, as you rightly said, is that at the end of the day, yes, no one wants people coming here who don't have the right to stay here. But as we all know, 70%, 70 percent of asylum claims are processed mm -hmm. and approved, right? So 30 percent on. We need to process these people faster, right? People don't want to do the job. It's a horrible job of processing your asylum claims. The turnover rate apparently is horrific, right? And the idea that it, we can, there's a magic solution isn't there. When we left the European Union, we left the Dublin II Convention, which meant that we couldn't send people back. Right? There's, there's no reason why tomorrow they could say we're not going to process claims from Albania, because other countries are done, and I think most fair-minded, liberally-minded people like me would say that's fine. But there's mm. equally, there's no safe routes from other countries apart from Ukraine. Well, the, the language that has been used by people in power is increasingly that anybody who comes here seeking asylum is an illegal immigrant, which by some measures, Chris, of course, is technically true, but only because politicians have made it illegal to effectively be an asylum seeker. And then they say, oh, well, everyone coming here is illegal. Well, they're not under international law. 